Welcome back everybody. So I know it's been a while, but I wanted to make a video of a new product that's coming out. And it's from a company that I've bought from before. And if you remember, Orboot, the globe that's interactive, that's augmented reality, uh, the company Shifu has come out with a new game and I'm able to test it out. Uh, so this is their beta, their prototype, um, called Play With Plugo, P-L-U-G-O, and it's a pretty great game so far. My kids are going to show how the game is played, and what you need is an iPad, kind of like with the Orboot, but they've got a 3D printed stand, which you can see here, that your iPad is placed in, and you've got some 3D printed parts. They are some game parts, uh, like a joystick, a little button that twists around. Pretty neat thing, and um, what's really cool about it is that it has magnets, so that it stays put. Now, of course, if you push it hard enough, it'll come out, but for the most part, you're able to play the games that they have for you. And what's really neat about this is that You've got these green markers here on the other side of the joystick or whatever the game parts are. So that means that all the things that have green, you gotta face it to the camera of the iPad. It, it filters the green, so it only sees the green, nothing else. And it comes with a bunch of different games. Uh, for the ones I'm testing, it comes with this one with the joystick and the, and the control here. It comes with this one here, which is called Count and you've got to put some pieces together in here again it's magnetic and again it has a little green part here it's got a steering game which is pretty neat it has these little puzzles or tiles puzzle tiles that you connect like this I'm just going to show you what these games are and then I'm going to show you what my kids think about it and what my first impressions are. So stay tuned. App. Then you choose which games you want to play. We're gonna, what I'm going to do, we're going to play Quest. So we're going to do Into the Light. It's pretty good. Um, what do you like about it? I like how there's challenges and you like have to figure them out. So what do you have to do here? So what you have to do is there's this door down here and you would like to escape. You have to have to get the level too to make a bridge so you can get there. So there's a ball you have to get the spider, then go back, pull the switch. And you go. And that says pick the key, correct key. Okay. Does that mean you have the wrong key? Yes. So go back. I'm gonna go with this key. Um, okay, let's try this one. So do you find that using the controls are pretty easy? Mm -hmm. it's so proud. And that's the game. So now we're gonna do this one. Again, yet it has to load. Click on this game. This is a number of steps in the staircase. Twelve. And Theo climbed the stairs these many times. Two times. How many stairs did he climb in total? So he did it two times. So twelve, then twenty-four. So twenty-four. So what? What? You did it. So what are you going to play? We're going to play Link. Link. Okay. So go ahead and show us how we're going to do it. Do you, think that you have to use a bees to make a pathway. The hexagons to make a pathway? Yes. Okay.
Nice. Now I'm going to do the create a connected system of gear to kickstart the light and sound machine. Hmm. So what do I think about Shifu and their new game Plugo? I think it's great. The kids seemed really engaged. What I really enjoyed was the variety that the Plugo app provides. I liked how it had four types of games where, you know, one is steering and pressing buttons, another one's like a joystick and turning the buttons. Um, some of them didn't even have buttons to press. Some of them were building tiles. I really love the variety and the different ways to kind of think and, and to problem solve. So uh, I really appreciate that and I think the kids really appreciated that too. And if you noticed in the video when my kids were playing, you can see that they were really engaged with a lot of the storylines and, and the objectives that the app uh, came up with. And I was amazed to see how they were thinking critically and, and they were planning what their next moves were gonna be. And they were getting instant feedback from the app, telling them if they were wrong or if they needed to do something over again. My kids knew what they needed to do in order to reach that objective. I really liked, especially with count, how kids are introduced with number sense, uh, arithmetic, you know, with multiplication, subtraction, addition, and just learning place value, where to put their numbers. So that's a really neat tool for kids to learn place value and number sense. And I really liked how Link really helped with kids' organization. They need to figure out where to put these blocks. However, there are limitations to these tiles because if you continue to build, eventually it gets too heavy and it'll start to droop over. So kids have to kind of plan ahead so that it wouldn't droop over. So that means they would have to kind of build um, a little support in order for their tiles to keep going over or have an overhang. So uh, very, very neat idea to introduce kids to some iPad apps where they're not only using the screen to control it. They're, they have tangible manipulatives where they can touch, but it will control the screen and the characters on the screen. So it's kind of a refreshing new take on how devices can be used in the classroom or at home. So thank you again, Shifu, for allowing me to test your new product. I love it, two thumbs up here. And I'm just gonna keep playing it and I'm gonna have my kids in my classroom use it during their exploration times. So that's it for now. See you next time.